Review Autekker. What are you, a wuss? I just don't know if I'm man enough for four hours of IDM. Uh, hi everyone. Strange, Strange the Man Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Marissa Nadler record, Strangers. Singer-songwriter Marissa Nadler, back with her second full-length album for Sacred Bones Records. In the past, I would only say I casually enjoyed some of Marissa Nadler's tracks. I've never really loved a full-length album of hers from beginning to end. I thought her last record for Sacred Bones was just a little too sparse for my taste. However, some of the teaser tracks from this new album over here piqued my interest, specifically the song Janie in Love, where I heard Nadler's typically wintry, spacious, and ethereal sound kind of fleshed out a little bit with some great backing instrumentation, making her songs just uh, a little more structured, a little more dynamic, and just have a little more presence. And pretty much all these tracks across the board have more instrumentation added to them. So we have some percussion, some keys, some strings, some bass, electric guitar. Now even though there's an instrumental change here, I wouldn't really say there's a big change of, of vibe or style here because Marissa Nadler's music is still incredibly slow, beautiful, alluring, patient. This is not a poppy, catchy, punchy, snappy record. Marissa still very much maintains her incredibly subtle sound. But in the case of this record, not so subtle that this album is hard to listen to or difficult to make heads or tails out of or uh, just all the details, everything that these songs are doing just all kind of get swallowed in the same minutia. There are actually some great choruses on this record that do swell very subtly and beautifully. I'd say they blossom gorgeously. On the surface, this album is very pretty to the ears and it only delivers more details and some interesting lyrical ideas too as I honed in on it. Now, if the added instrumentation provides anything to this record, it is versatility from the very skeletal and acoustic and chilling Shadow Show Diane to the dramatic drum fills and organ chords on the song Nothing Feels the Same. We also have the song Skyscraper, which feels pretty folky with its finger pick guitars, but also behind these acoustic guitars, there's this growing ominous drone of what seems like deep bass and some high pitched tones too at some points in the track. The title track here has kind of a very slow, almost heavy country feel. In a way, it, it reminds me of that Earth album, Hex. Funny thing that I honestly did not know when I was recording this review is that Earth's Hex and this new Marissa Nadler album were both, in fact, produced by the same person, Randall Dunn. Who's got the best fucking ears in the game? I got the best fucking ears in the game. Like when the band stopped making pure drone metal and started kind of fusing this drone sound into more of a folky western aesthetic with twangy guitars. And tracks like All the Colors of the Dark and Dissolve to me reflect a much older style of songwriting. Uh, even though these tracks are very ethereal and they're slowed down, it feels like the chord progressions and the melodies and sometimes the arranged instrumentation, if sped up and just played a little more lively, could fit a vintage vocal pop or traditional pop song from the 50s or the 60s. I love that on this record, Marissa is able to maintain her style and keep her musical identity in intact while trying so many different things and taking so many musical risks. And also, it's great that her vocals on this album are pretty readable too. Her vocals aren't really stuffed away uh, behind the instrumentation or just so awash in atmosphere that it's difficult to connect with them. Her voice is quiet, but sometimes it's audibly trembling with emotion or calling out very smoothly and beautifully, which is also incredibly engaging and captivating. The lyrics on the album, what I can make of them, which is most of them, uh, sometimes uh, her, her voice is so soft that it's, it's hard to make total sense of everything that she's saying, but many of the lyrics I can make out, uh, I like. Some of the tracks seem to be about people who she knows personally or just has a very clear idea of, like Janie in Love, where she describes this person as a, a natural disaster and she's like causing things to blow up, causing the earth to crumble. Uh, the song Shadow Show Diane, which seems to be about Marissa window watching from her apartment and sort of seeing uh, 
things happening in other people's apartment windows. Other lyrics are very eerie and also abstract, like on the title track here where we have this haunting refrain where Marissa is singing over and over that she's a stranger now, she's a stranger now. There's kind of two sides to Marissa Nadler on this record. Maybe not two sides separated by a bold line, but maybe a, more like a spectrum. There are moments where she comes off as this very aged, and experienced songwriter with a kind of weary voice singing songs about love and introspection and just relationships, telling stories and relaying personal experiences. And then in other moments she reads more like a mystical frost witch with magical music powers, delivering these beautiful siren vocals and some kind of drony heavy instrumentation that reminds me a little bit of uh, Chelsea Wolfe. My only real issues with this record is that I think in Instrumentally, uh, this album could have gone a little farther, it could have been a little meatier, it could have been a little more upfront, but uh, I'm loving the steps that Marissa and her collaborators on this record have taken thus far on this album, and I only look forward to seeing them push what they're making here a little further on whatever they do in the future. And a handful of tracks here, including Waking or uh, the intro track, for example, uh, do end a little abruptly and are just generally a, a little too short in my opinion. I mean, I think there was just possibly a little more here, especially on a track like Waking, which uh, definitely was one of my favorite musical moments on here. And the song Hungry is the Ghost, uh, there are elements of this track that I like, but it was just maybe a little too spacey in comparison with some of the other tracks here. I think uh, the song kind of devolves into a somewhat tedious drone, really, and that the song, the tune at the core of this instrumentation uh, gets lost in that a little bit. But outside of that, I think this record's really great. Uh, this is definitely one of the better singer-songwriter records I've heard this year. This is my favorite Marissa Nadler record so far in her discography. I think it's her best album thus far in terms of instrumental presentation. And from what I can tell, this is easily one of the strongest set of songs that she has delivered to record yet. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm feeling a decent to strong eight on this thing, transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe, please don't die. Mercer Nadler, strangers forever.